Good morning guys, hello, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to week two of Vlogmas. It's pretty, that was pretty dark then. Um, we are currently, Hello. we're currently on our way to Bristol uh, to do some Christmas shopping. I was actually checking on my last videos, the last Vlogmas, and we also did this on week two of Vlogmas last year. But the difference is I, just, I think that was the first day I was allowed out. I just got over COVID, so I wasn't feeling great. You had an injured foot, so you were like hobbling along. And we also had to wear masks in all the shops. So, at least we don't have to do that this year. So, um, yeah, we're currently on our way. I'll tell you something you can get me for Christmas. What? A little car mount. So, a what? A car mount for my camera. Yeah, like Cam camera mount, not car mount. You said a coal mount. Car mount. No, a camera mount so it can kind of squidge on there and then screw on top of my camera so I'm not because I'm probably all wobbly. Sorry if I am. But yeah, that's what we're doing today. So I think we're going to we're going to Cabot. I don't think we are. We're gonna to go to Cabot. Obviously I showed you it last year as well, but it's still pretty and there be I think they've got their mark have they got their markets outside? They did have their last year. Hopefully they got it this year and I might try some food this year because we haven't had any breakfast. We've just kind of come up woke up and come out of the house, so are you gonna are you gonna have anything? No. Why not? No, I don't have McDonald's. Mr. Fassi. Oh, yeah, you can get a McDonald's. There's any McDonald's down the road. I'm gonna try one. I think I've seen online that they do like those Yorkshire pudding wraps. So we'll try one of them. Can't really get much Christmassy. Christmassier? Is that a word? Christmassier than a Yorkshire pudding wrap. So yeah, I will see you once we get there. We've just done Primark. How how did you? Uh, how did you find Primark, Josh? Shocking. It was busy. It was so busy. We were in the queue. I'm not kidding, the queue. I reckon we were in the queue for about 20 minutes. Yeah. And on every level, like men's, women's, all the levels of it, the queue would like go ridiculously long. I tried all three levels to see which one was the smallest, but they're all, they were all the same. It's ridiculous. So we've literally been in one shop. Successful, but I've got a few bits, like stocking bits. Look. Look at the size of my bag, right? Look at Josh. That's full. <laughs> so, how much did you say you spent in there? A hundred quid. But, I just can't buy it. Look, are you a bit cold? Freezer. <laughs> yeah, he's bought a hundred quid. He's bought loads. I think he's bought like. Sorry, if it's a bit windy, I don't know if you can hear me. He's bought like stocking bits, I think, and then bits for like well everyone apparently. So, yeah. He's basically nearly them, I suppose. Yeah. But you'll do a lot of your stuff online, won't you? Yeah, hopefully. But it's mainly like, it's mainly like stocking bits and little bits that you can't really do online, so. He's done that there. I think we might go get some food now, so. You probably won't get anything, will you? Where are you? No, I won't. I'll someone to get home. Just me, being a pig. I'm mainly just trying it for you guys, but. Let me just show you what it looks like. <laughs> Do you want a picture next to Mary and Joseph? Uh. <laughs> Look at all the little pods in there. I think. What? Where? Oh yeah, little ski lifts. How cool is this? It's that smell though, can you smell that? It smells like fun fairs. You know what I said Winter Wonderland smells like? Look, we've got all of these. It's so cute, but I think. Oh, there's a cheese. Oh, what was that smell? Slightly cute. A bit dodgy, that. I think my food one's on the other end. Down there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, down there, look. Go outside, the snow is falling down And every child is having so much fun The snowman is twice the size as me Now this is what I'm going for Yorkshire pudding wraps How good does all this look? Oh my gosh Right, I'm going to order Sorry, the angle isn't great but Let me just, hang on Burn, it's dripping Yeah, thank you Here it is I've gone for probably the most boring. It's literally a turkey Yorkshire pudding wrap. 
I just went for stuffing and gravy. Because the veg there looked a bit dodgy. Thanks. The veg there looked a little bit dodgy, so yeah. she offered me other little bit of stuff. There was mashed potato there to go in it. That's not for me. Stuffing, mushy peas. I know, I put that one into the Mushy peas to go in it. That made me feel a bit weird. Oh, it's a bit. It's gonna be a messy one to eat, but let's just give it a go. So messy. Am I gonna get a bite of in that? Let me get that bit as well. Right. My next bite might be alright. Okay. Are you gonna bite? No. Try it. No. Oh, I don't know. He's not being shy. My gravy's like dripping out the bottom and he just wants to go near it. Mm. That is good. I did think I'd eat a little bit with you and then walk around. But I'm not walking around that. That's too messy. Oh like it? Mm. Do you want to just try a little bit? No. No, I don't want to try any now. Why? Because I don't like it. You all know that he's quite fussy, don't you? The Yorkshire pudding's really soggy from the gravy. Is that? Yeah, that's good. So uh, everyone come and try it. Mm. There's so many different food bits though. Bye. They had a lot of different um, meat choices. It was, obviously I got turkey, they had, I think they had pork and beef. Well actually that isn't quite a lot, that's just three. But She said you want all the trimmings and I looked and I was like, no. Because they had, mass, literally I think I just said they had mashed potato, mushy peas, which I think is weird, who has mushy peas on a roast dinner? And the veg were like carrots and something else, but the carrots look like they were tinned ones. You know when they look, oh, they look horrible. Sorry, the back of Santa, but this is where, so I'm just talking to them, this is where we're now going. Sorry, I'm trying to watch where I'm going, I'm walking downstairs at the same time. Hotel Chocolat. So we want to get other people presents, but I also want Josh to get me some as well. So I'm going to have to pretend that I can't see what he's doing. But this is literally the best shop going. Look. Oh, look at all that. I'll get my dad that. What other flavours have they got there? Uh, mint, chocolate, salted caramel, and clementine. I've asked my mum to get me that. I told her to get me that, so hopefully she gets it. <laughs> Look at everything, guys. Oh my gosh. We're on our way back home now. So we just went into Hotel Chocolat. How much did you spend? £40. It's quite expensive, isn't it? So I spent, sorry, I'm not really holding the camera at a very good angle, but it's there, then everyone's watching me. Um, I just spent £63 on Hotel Chocolat. But the good thing is, if you spent a certain amount, I think over 30 quid, you got a bottle of, no, a uh, pack of hot chocolate. So me and Josh both got that, but it's both the same flavours, so it's both uh, Black Forest Gatto ones, which I haven't tried before, and I picked up the hazelnut one, which I've wanted for a while. But um, yeah, we're walking to the car now, so I will catch up with you probably this evening. Good afternoon, guys. Hello, happy Sunday. It's now the next day. I know you're probably thinking, afternoon and you're in your PJs. Well, I have had a very productive Sunday. I've got up and I had a lion and I got up and did the food shop because obviously I couldn't do that yesterday because where we were shopping. Um, I had to go to two shops because I shop in Aldi and then Aldi didn't do certain things so I had to go to Asda. I've come home, put all the shopping away, taken the dog for a walk and I'm now back in my PJs. It's, it's three o'clock so I have chilled for a bit. And I thought I will pick you guys up and start vlogging for today because I'm going to be decorating the living room. So obviously, as you can see, the lamp is being moved because where it usually goes, hopefully you would have watched last week's vlog, uh, the tree is there. So let's start with an advent calendar. I've had one, obviously one of each. So I've had dark milk and white. I think milk was yesterday. So I reckon it might be dark again, but who knows? So there it is. Let's see. It's dark again. Oh. Mm. And that's your Mr. Sydney's. What have I got? Come here, Sid. Say hi. You can smell my chocolate. Look at this. Look at this. Right. Today we are finding number four, Sid. 
It's this way, this way. Number four. Can you oh, I can see it. Here we go. He won't eat it with me. I've got to put him back in his bed so he can eat it. So, right, let's go do what I want to do. Let's go decorate. So, as you can see at the moment, we've got the tree done. We've got Alf on pause. We're going to start that in a sec. Uh, and all the decorations are here. Mine is him. He's not a decoration. He's, what is that? Oh, it was a cock call, but Sid's taken his feet off. So, yeah, I am going to get going with this and make this room Christmassy. Um, yeah, that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put you on a little time lapse again because it's been quite boring. It's got to be real time. Get all the Christmas songs that we love. And then while we're going to go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire. Because all I want is to spend this day with you. Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy mm -mm, So beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you I don't need any presents As long as I spend this day with you mm -mm, So beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you Making plans, what we're gonna do I feel so blessed that I can be with you Cause God knows that I've been longing for ya I just wanna hold you close You know the stars are shining just for you Let's take a walk and we can follow the moon Like till we reach a place we can stay Maybe kiss a bit and dream away And in a while we're What are we thinking guys? Sorry, I've just had to put that on pause i turn the lights up, so it's actually really dark for me in here. I usually have this light on. Um, what are we thinking? I am really pleased with it. Those lights don't look too obvious. I think these ones, so these lights here, I put them on the tree when I was decorating, and they are so dim compared to these lights. So I just took them off because it was like almost pointless. They were dimmer than those lights there and the bright ones, so I took them off. That star, I said it in my other vlog, it didn't work and all of the batteries that i used yesterday to put in there didn't work got a new packet out and they work so the star works so that's a plus but yeah i'm really happy with it cute i've got all of my lights lit uh, candles lit sorry so it smells insane in here and now i am going to chill for the evening and actually i'm going to go put my england top on because england are playing tonight so i will probably more than likely see you tomorrow maybe i might put the camera up and speak to you tomorrow basically i'm gonna be on another video tomorrow sorry i don't mean to like be extending my words but i'm trying to think of what i'm trying to say so it's just easier to extend my words uh, i'm gonna film a different video tomorrow so that would have gone live on wednesday so i might show you bits i might not uh it might be a bit boring to show you whatever i'm showing you tomorrow would have been on wednesday if that makes sense so yeah i finished watching i did put you on a time lapse at the beginning obviously as you were seen but it took me the whole time alf was on i literally pressed play on alf as i started and as you probably saw in that little clip uh alf has just finished the end screen screen came on so what's that maybe like an hour and a half it took me an hour and a half to do it so yeah i haven't done the lights outside i might do that in the week but I haven't really got like proper lights. It's only um, one of those laser things. That's all I'm doing tonight. So yeah, I'm going to go pop my England top on. Fingers crossed. Obviously, by the time you're watching this, you'll know the results. Fingers crossed we win. We will win. I will see you tomorrow. Or I will see you at some point this week. I hope you guys have a lovely evening. Hello guys, good evening. 
it's now hang on i'm just gonna pop you down because i can't what am i doing it's now a couple of days later what day is it day it's tuesday the last clip you saw was this morning actually but i haven't spoken to you since sunday so i feel like i haven't actually spoken to you in a while i nipped out yesterday to b m to get a few bits obviously nipped out to b m um because what else do you do on a monday night you go to B&M. I went out for blue roll, some tin foil and some candles, and I came back with basically this, the all that I needed, apart from a couple of extra bits. So I got the candles, the tea lights. Whilst I was there, I saw these. How cute are these? I needed some more. What's it called? What's it called? What is wrong with me? Um, I've had a really busy day at work, so I'm just like brain brain fog i don't know wax melts that's what i needed and i didn't just think of it it's because i've just seen it on things so i picked this up this wax melt i haven't had it before um mandarin lime and basil but it does smell nice it smells real good actually it smells like someone a posh house i think this is meant to be like a dupe for like is it joe malone i've never had joe malone but i'm pretty sure this is meant to be like that maybe that's why it's a posh house because the posh house had the gym alone i don't know maybe we're making that up whilst i was there i saw these and these are the cutest little things i have ever seen how cute are these little wax melts they are scented what is this smell winter spice i didn't actually realize they were scented i just picked them up because they were really cute let me see if i can smell them oh i don't like that oops i don't like it but i'll use it because they look cute but Whilst I was there, I picked these up, which actually thinking about it, it's not going to work. Flameless LED tea lights. Because the ones that I've got down here, the other day when they were, all my candles and stuff were lit, Sid walked past and he was, he probably wasn't that close, but I was like panicking. And I was like, oh my God. And I thought he was going to set his little tail on fire. So I thought I'll get these and put them in there. And then I've just realised that I'm just going to have to alternate because I've just bought some nice new Christmassy wax melts. Doesn't sexy look very real, does it? But let's pop it inside here. Looks really real, doesn't it? Actually, no, I like that. And it's safe. And that is what we're all about. That's one of the only reasons why I picked the camera up. The other one. I'm making myself a hot chocolate. And basically, it's a new flavour that I haven't tried. And I'm just going to pop that on again because... I don't want to have gone cold. This one, sorry, I look horrendous. We move. I was going to pick it up and show you, but I can't be bothered and you don't really want to look at me. I got picked this one up. Um, Black Forest Gatto drinking chocolate, hot chocolate. I didn't pick it up actually. So when we went the other day, when we went shopping, obviously we went into Hotel Chocolate. I'm not sure whether I told you, but basically they said that if you spend... Well, they didn't tell you it was at the queue in the, when you're paying and they said because you spent more than 30 pounds you get a free box of hot chocolate and obviously josh got one as well we've, both, we've got two boxes of these 10 sachets and i was looking at it thinking there's got to be a reason they wouldn't just give this away that's the reason because they go off this month so hopefully it's nice i've never had this flavor before you can definitely taste the like cherry i'm gonna sit down enjoy this and watch the crown and i'm gonna get off camera now because i actually look horrendous so i'll catch you when i'm hopefully looking a little bit better than this oh my god would you believe me if i told you it's currently middle of the day oh hang on there's some barking dogs two seconds <laughs> sorry about that guys that person with two little dogs just let their dog run straight at my dog just barking and scaring him and poor little Sid ran off. Anyway, would you believe me when I say this is midday? Half 12, look at it. Like, obviously the bits here where the green is, it's the only bits that have got sun on. I'm sure those bits will turn green, but how lush is this? I'm literally dressed for the Antarctica. I think I'm actually getting a little bit warm. It's not actually, I've got my gloves, although my gloves have seen better days. I don't know where you guys are living in the UK or if you're from the UK just all of a sudden become freezing cold like absolutely freezing oh my god that's really slippery there as well it's so cold 
Look though, how pretty is this? It makes me miss skiing. I haven't been skiing since just before COVID. We literally came back as COVID was hitting, so like 2020. And obviously with moving house, buying house, doing extension, we haven't had the money, so we haven't been, but I just, if anyone wants to pay for me to go skiing, then I, you know, I'll accept it. Um, anyway, it's a couple of days later. When did I speak to you? No, I did. did I speak to you yesterday or the day before? I can't remember, but just out on a dog walk, as you can tell. And I'm doing it in the daytime. Usually I do it in the evening, but it's so dark so early now. Like I finished work at four. By the time I finish, I'm literally like quarter past four. I think, right, I'll quickly take him for a walk. And it's getting dark as we're going around. I don't really like because I do it on my own because Josh is at work. So yeah, taking the time now to do it. And I might nip to the shop later. Oh my God, it's just so pretty. So pretty. I might nip to the shop later because I don't need anything, but let's be honest, who needs anything when they go to like home bargains and B&M? B&M and home bargains tie you what you need. Anyway, my hands are freezing because look, so this hand's got two fingers out and this one, I don't know what that is, maybe like hot chocolate or something. They've seen better days, so I think I will be putting that on my Christmas list. Anyway, because of my cold fingers, I'm putting them in my pocket, so I'll catch you at some point later on. I went to B&M, bag full. I didn't go to Tesco's, I went to B&M, but we've got to reuse those bags. Do you want a little haul? Yeah, why not? It's in there, so I'll show you a couple of things that he's stocking. He's got this, it's a festive robin. Um, and I bet you by about midday, Christmas day, if that, uh, the bobble will be gone, the little pom-pom thing, that all the bits that hang, what are they called? Like, yeah, basically arms, legs, and like that. He doesn't really want the this. He won't want this bit, it's just all the flappy bits. He'll pull them off, then he leaves them. That's what he does with all his toys. I'm just trying to look around, there's none near me, but yeah, that's one of them. These, I can't say what it is because he'll come running in. I bought these. It's a make your own gingerbread men. I think I might make them tomorrow, tomorrow night with you guys. Take some wrapping paper out, three layers of wrapping paper and then some tags. I've got a shampoo bar. That's for Josh. I don't use that. And I know he won't see this, so <laughs> I'm out with him. He loves my lush ones. Maybe not the bath bombs to be fair, it's the bubble bars. He nicks them, but I saw this. It's a kid's one, but this is to go in his stocking a surprise bath bomb, a surprise squashy toy inside. <laughs> I just think that's funny. More things to go in the dog's stocking. He'll be really excited for these. I picked this up. I've been wanting to do this for ages. I'm gonna put vinegar in here so I can spray it on my chips. When you get them in a fish and chip shop, when they spray it all over and it's just amazing. So I thought, you know what? This is like a pound, 99p. I'm gonna put a little label telling you it's vinegar on there. So I'm gonna try that on my dinner tonight. And then the last thing I got, some star curtain lights, a battery ones. This will look so cute. I haven't got any outside lights up. I got warm white, did I say that? There was warm white and then the bright white ones. I haven't got my outside lights up yet. Don't really put any up, I've just got one of those laser things, but I need to tidy out the front. So I'm gonna do that this weekend, but I'm gonna, I might put these up tonight because well, there's no reason apart from I want to. Here he is, a full, it looks exactly the same as what it did a minute ago. I haven't got a label on it because my label maker, I haven't used it in so long for some reason, it's not actually printing anything on it. Can anyone, does anyone have one of these? It's one of the Dymo label makers. I haven't used it in literally like a year. Anyway, look, probably just put a bit too much on, but you know, Sure, it'd be nice. Yeah, put a little bit too much on, but that was a good hack. Anyway, I'm gonna sit down and eat this. Bye. Good evening. It's now Friday, Friday evening. I'm just editing this vlog and I'm going to bring it to a close. Not just yet, don't worry. I'm gonna bring it to a close with these gingerbread men biscuits. Yeah, I thought I'd better bring it to a close because I'm editing it and the video is long enough. I'm gonna make these gingerbread men. Uh, they're the ones that I showed you yesterday with a little cute cutter. So, takes no introduction. I've got my butter. I've got my real butter this time, so don't worry, it won't just be a splodge. Let me mix it all up. Let's see how this goes. <laughs>
outside and drink our chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas Look at these little lads They look alright don't they? Did a lot of them and there was there's a tiny bit left over there But I just couldn't bother to do any more I don't think I'm going to get through that many gingerbread men but we'll see um, who knows? Hopefully they don't spread whilst they're in the oven. They shouldn't do, should they? I don't know. Might be one big fat gingerbread man. So, uh, yeah. Wish us luck. He's hoping that they're going to come out looking just like this. Got a little funny butt on the end of your foot there, mate. Okay, they're done. I can't tell if they actually look much different. I can't remember what they looked like before. Do they look much darker? I'm not sure, but I get too scared that I'm going to burn stuff now. So I think these look good. This one's massive. We're going to wait till they cool down. They've made, they've stayed shape. Oh wait, that's got a funny little head. This one's really fat. I think they look good. Uh, and then we're, in a minute we'll come out and decorate. So ice and sugar, our sprinkles. I was hoping, I suppose it does actually say it on the tin, on the pack. I thought they were going to be in there. Uh, I'm not going to be making this. I'll ice a few with you, but there's no way. I don't know who they think I am. Did you guys see my star biscuit Santa Clauses from last year? They didn't work out. So remember that I've got these in the cupboard, so I'm going to do a few of these. I'm just going to do a mix, but I'll let them cool first. Right, I've done them without you. I'm very sorry, but I was thinking how boring would that be if I do yet another time lapse of me editing. Editing? <laughs> I'm not editing these gingerbread man, decorating them. As you can see, these ones here have some buttons and this one, I decided to put some eyes on him. These were just bits of leftover icing and sprinkles. <laughs> the icing isn't very white. I'm sure it will turn white once it's dried a bit. But you know, I'm not an artist, I'm not a baker. That's just how it's gonna go. What one should I pick? I'm gonna pick this one. One without sprinkles because I feel that because we'll go everywhere. Anyway, I'm going to love you and leave you. Let's have a little bite of this first. Mmm. That's actually quite good. I have a feeling that the thick ones won't be very nice, but that's good. Anyway, like I say, I'm going to love you and leave you. I'm not going to sit next to the tree all night, but just a nice way to end it isn't it sat next to the tree thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you've enjoyed it send in all my love out to you guys i hope that you're in the christmas spirit but if not i know christmas is a very hard time for a lot of people so i'm sending my love to you guys sending my love to all of you but mainly the people that are struggling um yeah if you ever need to talk then my inbox is always open just drop me a message but yeah let's not get emotional on a it's a Friday evening for me, but a little Sunday morning if you're watching this when this goes live. So, uh, yeah. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already done so, then please give this video a big thumbs up. And subscribe if you're new here. But, I, but by the sounds of it, I actually can't talk. I'm obviously very tired. And I've got a really needy dog. So, me and Sid, we'll see you in the next video, won't we? Say bye.